Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Today is an exciting but an interesting video for me because for those of you who don't follow along with my normal vlogs or maybe this is like your first time coming to my channel. Hi, welcome. My name is Kelly Yeager and I am 34 and a half weeks pregnant, but I normally do bikini hauls like in the spring. A lot of followers asked if I would do or if I was going to do another bikini haul this year. And I was like, I mean, if you want me to, in the poll was like 99% yes. So none of these are maternity bikinis. These are all bikini brands that you asked me to see. There's really only one brand that I already knew I loved. And I'm only including that in here because it is very fitting for one, they're amazing in general, but two, they've been working really well for maternity. So I figured I would throw them in here since this is like a non-maternity bikini haul but there are definitely some winners that could work for while you're pregnant, so you don't have to like buy maternity specific. So without further ado, we're gonna get right on into it. This is not a sponsored video. I bought all of these bikinis. I'm excited to get into it because there are definitely some winners that uh, will be new favorites of mine. Starting off with one of the brands that I think was probably the most requested skatey bikini. I tried to get a ton of different styles because that's the one thing they offer like a lot of different styles. Same thing with the other bikini brand you're gonna see. Getting right on into skatey, I got all of these in a size medium and we're gonna start off with the Betsy top, once again in a size medium, and then I paired it with the Dylan bottom in a size medium. Out of all of the style suits, this is the one I was most confident in. This is very my my vibe. I like basic bottoms, I like basic tops, usually ones that are like a little bit more like athletic looking, if that makes sense. I don't like straps going everywhere, I just like basic bikinis. You're gonna start to notice that trend throughout this entire bikini haul. But the one thing that is just a downfall for me in basically all bikinis nowadays, uh, they don't have any padding. I prefer when companies give you the option of padding or no padding, but really no companies are doing that anymore. I've just learned to get over it, suck it up. I've started to get used to it because one of my favorite bikini companies, they don't do them either. Um, so that would be like my one downfall to the top. Has this cute little crisscross back. One thing that I really liked about this, I feel like normally when you have this kind of back, the entire like string is attached. The actual tie is totally separate from the straps over your shoulder and the straps are actually adjustable. So I feel like this fits very nice. It doesn't pull anywhere. It's not cutting in anywhere and it's obviously very adjustable. So I liked that top a lot. I actually got this exact same set in the other pattern because I loved the other pattern. Like I said, the Dylan bottom is their like most basic one. They're definitely still very cheeky. That is just the trend right now. So I tried to get a variety. So maybe you can find ones that are like more your style or maybe have a little bit more coverage or less coverage if that's what you like. I feel like this is pretty standard for bikinis right now. Once again, it is definitely a little bit more cheeky. So if you're looking for like more coverage, these probably aren't gonna be the ones for you, but the size medium fit great. They would have fit me perfectly pre-pregnancy and will post-pregnancy, but these actually fit really well currently. And once again, I'm 34 weeks pregnant. So I was pretty stoked about that. I knew I was gonna love that one. Like I was like 97% sure. So, so I actually got it in the St. Bart's pattern, which you're gonna see I got a couple other items in that pattern cause I thought it was really cute. So same thing, they all fit really well, all size mediums, love them. And then other styles. This I think is probably one of their most popular tops, at least from what I've seen. This is the Sarah top, once again, in that St. Bart's pattern, size medium. Everything fit very similar from this top to the, what was the other top called? The Betsy top. Um, the back has that same kind of design to it where you can tie this separately and then the straps are adjustable. So it's not just all like one string. I personally love that. Um, the main difference is it has this little tie knot, which I feel it kind of takes away a little bit of coverage. See if you can see that. So this has like the little, this is the Betsy top. This has the little cinch in the front. This one has the tie. So I feel like the Betsy offers like a, 
a little bit more coverage. I really liked them both though. I thought they were very flattering and comfortable. Once again, fit great, like true to size. They just don't have padding. So keep that in mind if you're someone who usually prefers padding, stick to darker colors and stick to like more busy patterns if you don't like your nipples showing. Um, but yeah, other than that, I really liked these. If I had to choose between the Betsy top and the Sarah top, I, I would personally go with the Betsy because I like that it has a little bit thicker, like a little bit of a thicker band in the middle, but I think the Sarah top is like their more popular one. I did get one other style of bottom. I was not too confident about these right now because with the belly, anything mid-rise or high-rise is just rough. But these are the Vera bottom. They actually fit pretty well given that I'm very pregnant. They're definitely more of like that mid-rise, high-rise look. Tie bottoms are not my favorite. I feel like I'm kind of like the oddball out with that. I think most people love tie bottoms. I personally like the simplicity of the other ones. I don't love higher waisted tie bottoms. I feel like unless you have a very like bubbly butt that can fill them out, they can very easily kind of like flat, make your, make your butt look a little flatter. I don't know, maybe that's just me. I think it obviously differs body type to body type, but these fit really well. Obviously tie bottoms are more adjustable than the other ones. These just aren't my personal favorite. I definitely like the other ones more. Last but definitely not least for Skatey, I wanted to also try their strapless option. So this is the Lindy top. The one thing I always love with strapless is one, if they give you the option to have like the tie around the neck, this is optional. You can take it on and off very easily. You can see on the back, there's just this little clip. And then this goes right in there. Um, it has that little knot detail in the front. And then the thing that helps a ton with strapless bikinis, it has that like underwire on the side. So a side wire to help it stay in place a little bit better. So it's not going to roll down. And then it just has the same like thick material tie in the back. So it is very adjustable. I thought this was really comfy and I felt like it was actually going to stay in place pretty well. Although I like the strapless, I think out of all of the skatey, styles I tried. I liked the Dylan bottom the best and the Betsy top, which is the style I thought I would like the best and they all fit really well. So I would say they fit really true to size. They're definitely very comfy for a more expensive bikini brand. I think the quality is there. They all felt really good on. Literally my only downfall is that they don't offer padding and that's like all bikini brands now, unfortunately. That is it for Skatey. Hopefully that was helpful. <laughs> so many of you wanted me to review these and I have started to see Skatey like everywhere on social media. The next brand is also very popular on social media. So we're gonna get right on into that with Kulani Kinis. I have actually looked into buying these or trying them for the past like two years and I just can never make up my mind. There's so many different styles, so many different patterns and I bit the bullet this time because so many of you wanted to see them. So I got three different bikinis, like three different sets, all in different patterns and in a little bit of different material. Probably starting off with my favorite. I posted this on Instagram and everyone was like, where is that from? I love the pattern. So. I have the top and bottom. Once again, they have different bottom and top options. This is just how I personally paired them because I was trying to get like a good variety. The top is the Ditsy Underwire Bra Bikini Top in Beachside Bloom. That is this blue pattern. And then the bottom is the Minimal Full Coverage Bikini Bottom once again in Beachside Bloom. So I got mediums in the tops and the bottoms. Starting off with the top. This is not normally a style that I love. I was actually very surprised. I like this a lot. As I mentioned, I think this is my favorite bikini from this haul or from this brand. Only downfall, once again, there's no padding. And I feel like with an underwire top, normally there's padding in there. So I was a little bit surprised by that. There is a pattern to it, which I feel like helps rather than just being a solid color. There is the true like clasp in the back and then the straps are adjustable. I definitely am more busty right now because I am pregnant. So I think that's why this top worked so well for me pre-pregnancy. I don't think I would have been able to wear this properly because I was definitely part of the itty bitty titty committee. <laughs> 
My chest out of everything has probably grown the most during this whole pregnancy, so keep that in mind. Um, obviously, I mean, most tops that have underwire are for like a little bit of a bigger chest, um, and especially because there's no padding. Just wanted to throw that out there because I, I personally don't think I would have filled this out enough pre-pregnancy. Bottom wise, as you heard me say with the skatey bikinis, I am a big fan of just like basic bottoms. And the one thing I loved about this, they actually have a little bit more coverage. So I thought that was really nice, especially for once again, non-maternity suits that can be worn for maternity suits. If you're someone who just feels more comfortable with a little bit more coverage, the material of these is so soft. They're definitely like worth the higher price point because Kulani Kinis and Skatey are both at a higher price point. The mediums fit really well. I think these will fit very easily after pregnancy too, which I'm really excited for. But yeah, this is probably my favorite bikini from Kulani that I tried. The next set up is the running floral pattern. Once again, these are just the styles that I chose, but the nice thing with them, they offer all of the bottoms basically in each pattern and all of the tops. So you can like put a set together that you really love. These are the cheeky V bikini bottom. And then I paired it with the minimal bikini top. Once again, we'll just start with the top. This is very much my style. I thought I was gonna like this one the most. I do like this one a lot. I just think I, the blue and the pink is so out of my comfort zone. And I was just shocked that that top fit so well. This one I love a lot. It is a little bit less coverage just because it's, I mean, it even says in the name, it's minimal bikini top, but the clasp in the back is still very like structured and like you feel like you're safely strapped in, if that makes sense. And then same thing, they offer the adjustable straps, which I really appreciate because you wanna feel like you're secure in your top. And obviously we all have different body types. So it's nice that they offer the adjustable straps. The only thing is the bands aren't adjustable. So I got a medium in this. I thought it fit really well. And then once again, paired it with the cheekier bottoms. Tell these obviously don't have nearly as much coverage going on in the back. Um, but that is how they are intended to fit. And once again, I'm a big fan of not having the ties. That's just like my personal preference. So I wanted to try both styles. These still fit really well. These have more of that V cut in the front, obviously, rather than the other ones that I showed. So overall, these just have less coverage, but fit the same. They're still nice and soft and comfortable and like stay in place. So I still really like these, but totally get if you're someone who doesn't like the like cheeky bottom and you want more coverage, they do have another style option that you would prefer like the blue ones I tried. Last bikini from Kulani, I had to try this mango ribbed pattern in color. I thought it was beautiful. So starting with the top, this is the bralette bikini top. It's kind of a combination of like your typical triangle tie top, but it actually has the over the shoulder straps, which I loved the idea of this, but the straps I feel like sit out kind of far on your shoulders. And I felt like whenever I would try to put it in place, it would like kind of roll out, if that makes sense. Like it would stay on, but I couldn't get the straps to lay flat consistently. And I am already like, I have broader shoulders. So I feel like if you have more narrow shoulders, this probably wouldn't fit really well. The one thing that's nice about the ribbed pattern with the top and the bottom, seeing as though the top doesn't have any padding, it kind of like camouflages the nips a little bit more. And then I've talked about this in the past bikini hauls, but there's nothing worse than a bikini bottom just like clinging to everything downstairs and showing the whole world. I know I personally hate that. I don't wanna feel like uncomfortable in my bikinis or feel exposed. So that's why patterns are great because once again, solid colors, lighter solid colors would be more likely to do that. And then if you do get a solid color, I love when they offer the ribbed material. So the medium fit in this, it has the tie back. Um, it was just really the way that the like shoulder straps sat out. That didn't work great for me. These are actually the same bottoms as the blue ones I tried. So it is the minimal full coverage. Yeah, minimal full coverage bikini bottom. Uh, same thing in a size medium. So I definitely liked these bottoms the best out of the two that I tried, just because I feel like it's still flattering, but once again, you don't feel like you're exposed, offers enough coverage. So in summary, out of the Kulani Kinis, the Beachside Bloom was my favorite, the minimal full coverage bottom. I liked the minimal bikini top a lot and the Ditsy Underwire Bra Bikini Top. Way too many names and colors to remember. 
Next brand up, I got a lot of items from them because a lot of you really wanted to see these and I know it's more affordable. So this is Airy. I tried to get a lot of the different styles so I could kind of compare them. It does seem like they sell out a little bit faster, probably because they are a more affordable brand and like more easily accessible since they have stores in the local malls and everything, but we'll get right on into it. Starting off with the Airy OG Bikini Bottom. These are, I believe, the same version or maybe like an updated version of the ones I actually tried before. So once again, they don't have ties on the side. It's just like a good basic bikini. The back side is bigger than the front side, which means we have a little bit more coverage. It is still a little bit more cheeky, but definitely not like a thong bikini or anything like that. So wanted to include these because I feel like this is a great basic. The size mediums fit really well. Really none of these cut in on me, which I'm just like shocked because I was fully expecting for like half of the bikinis to be like, yeah, they're super nice and like comfortable, but not during pregnancy. But honestly, all of them have fit pretty well. I think mainly because I stuck to low rise bottoms. As I mentioned, mid rise and high rise things while pregnant are just like, it's a no-go, unless it's a maternity specific item. So, loved these. I think I also got that in the green bikini that I got, but we'll see that in a second. I also got the Airy Bandeau bikini top, which I love because the one downfall with Bandeau tops, I feel like a lot of companies are making it so the back is the same width as the front. And I love that they made the back, if you can see, I know you can see it when I tried it on, but the back is actually a lot thinner than the front. So great for minimal tan lines. That's usually how I think about, or when I'm buying a bikini, I'm like, is this gonna give me crazy tan lines? If the answer is yes, I don't buy it. If the answer is no, sign me up. So it actually has padding as well. And it's only like $15. <laughs> I don't know if I got this on sale or if that's like the normal price, but regardless, they're way more affordable than the other two brands I talked about and they actually fit really well. So this bandeau top still has the like structured wire on the side, so it stays in place really well. And yeah, overall, I was very impressed with this. Also love the fact that there's padding. Thank you. I love it. The other bottoms I tried from them are the airy, super high cut, cheekiest bikini bottom. These were once again like $15, got them in a size medium. The downfall to these, one, I don't love like the super high cut bottoms. I just feel like same thing. It kind of takes like a very specific body type. Depending on your torso length, it could cut in on you. It could be super flattering, but it just depends. I personally preferred the other ones. The other thing with these, I didn't like that it had, I don't know if you can see, it has this stitch that goes like all the way up the bum, which I just found to be a little weird. They still fit really great. Like they're comfortable. And once again, they're super affordable. So like for the price, that's fantastic. I prefer the OG bottom personally. And then this top, as you heard me say before, is very like my style. I love the sportier look. I love just like a simple bikini. This one does have the little tie. This is the airy tie front scoop bikini top. Um, the tie is like fully separate. So I think that you could actually take the tie off if you wanted. And then it has the little clasp in the back with three different spaces. So you can tighten it if you want, but I liked this. They have the adjustable straps on there, which is really nice. I forgot to mention the bandeau top came with a strap to go over if you want to. Um, I didn't try it on like that because the, it stayed in place really well. And if I want a strapless top, I'm going to keep it strapless, but it is nice that they give you the option to hook in the straps if you want them, but the size medium in this fit really well. Same thing. This one has pads in it, so you can take them out if you want to, but I personally will for sure keep them in because that's what I prefer. And like I mentioned, I got a green bikini from there because I also wanted to try one of the colors. I got the same OG bikini bottom in a size medium. So I already knew these were gonna fit really well. Loved them, love the color, I think it's beautiful. And then I paired it with the, I think it's like the scoop bikini top. So this is probably my favorite top out of all of the ones I got. I love the bandeau top for laying out, but in terms of like going to the beach, Chris and I like to throw the football a lot. This would be my go-to because it has that like very basic, like there's nothing going on in the front. It's just very simple. It has the clasp in the back with those three adjustable slots and then the adjustable straps, which is really nice. So I loved this, has padding. <laughs> 
you can tell very much very much my style i think the cut of it is just really flattering and it was overall just super comfortable and you can't beat how affordable all of these were the airy tie front scoop bikini so the one with the tie that one was 26 dollars all of the bottoms were 15, the green top was 15, and the bandeau top was 15. That's amazing. All of the other bikinis are like $100 for one, which I'm down for paying. You will see here in a second, my like all time favorite bikinis over the past two or three years, the triangle ones I love, those are like $100. They last me a long time. They fit great through pregnancy and normal, so love that, but I get that that's really expensive. So for an affordable bikini company, I think these are all great. They fit true to size, the quality's there, and they have padding. We love that, we love that. The only downfall, it seems like it's kind of hard to get your hands on your correct sizes, and they do offer options for like different bottoms that you can kind of mix and match, but they definitely sell out way faster than the other ones. From my experience trying to purchase, I actually had to go to the website multiple times before purchasing just because I couldn't find my sizes or like matching sets. I'd find my size in one top, but they didn't have any bottoms available. So that was a little bit more of a pain, but other than that, they all fit really well. I did get two other items because I love Aerie and I think their clothes are super comfortable. And I wanted to try some of their like cover up and just like throw on, I mean a, a cover up and then shorts to go over bikini bottoms like to walk around in. And I have just never tried them even though I really wanted to. So I got this one, which I love. This is the Aerie pool to party cover up. It is a super thin, in like kind of sheer oversized, it's like an oversized t-shirt. Um, it does fit more like a dress though, like it's a proper cover up. It has buttons all the way down so you can leave it fully open if you want. I just le I left the bottom buttoned and just unbuttoned the top, but there's no collar or anything. So it's just like, it honestly just fits like an oversized like dress shirt almost. Got size mediums in this and in the shorts that you're about to see. Out of everything, this might be my favorite just because I don't, I literally don't have anything like this yet. And every time we go to the beach, I'm like, gosh, I just wish I had one thing to throw on and I'm fully covered. And although I love my like skirt little wraps, my shoulders are always exposed and I'm walking around and like your chest is exposed, your tummy's exposed. So I think this will be really nice to just kind of go in and out, even at home when I wanna lay out in our back to wear this out. So I'm not just like letting everything show to my neighbors. <laughs> so this was one of my favorites. This was a little bit more expensive. I mean, for Airy, it was $50. So a little bit more expensive than the bikinis, obviously, but I thought this was fantastic and I highly recommend. I think they have this in a couple other colors as well. Lastly, for the little airy portion, I have the airy on a roll fleece short. It says fleece, but they feel more like, I don't know if you can see the inside. It's more of like that French, like terry cloth material on the inside. And the pockets are like the inside out version. Does that make sense? Like, <laughs> What the inside of the shorts look like is what they made the pockets out of and they fit really well. There's a draw cord on the front so you can adjust it, which is really nice. And yeah, I thought these were a perfect short for the summer to just like throw on, walk around, or you, if you just want to be comfy, these would be fantastic. But my intention for them was wearing around like to and from the pool or the beach or whatever and I think they will be perfect for that. I got mediums. They're definitely a little bit more of like an oversized short, which I prefer. I wouldn't want something tight going to and from the beach, like clinging to you. So these were really nice. These were $21, so still very affordable, super comfortable. And yeah, I was really happy with the entire Airy haul. For the price, everything fit really well. I thought the sizing was just like very true to size. And then once again, for the price point, I thought the quality was great. So highly recommend Aerie if you can find your sizes. <laughs> Last, but definitely not least, my personal favorite, they've been my favorites for like the past two summers. I've included them in the past, definitely last year's bikini haul, maybe even the year before that, but triangle. As I mentioned, these are definitely more expensive. It's more in line with like Skatey and Kulani, but I love them. Their shipping is super fast and the quality is just amazing. So I tried on one of the newest ones I got, the tie-dye 
Maya suit. The one thing with theirs, it kind of, it like pairs a top with a bottom. So they're not as customizable, but they do offer the colors in multiple styles usually. But the Maya, this is a different one than I tried on. I have like a full drawer full of them. But the Maya bikini has this very simple, like very like V cut. I feel like this is just perfect for tanning. Minimal tan lines, you can pull like, adjust the straps a little bit if you want while you're laying out. The one thing this, if you're a little bit bustier, your nipple is like so close to showing in this. So if you're planning on doing like beach volleyball or something like that, I definitely wouldn't recommend wearing this one. But for laying out, this is one of my favorite styles. And specifically, why I wanted to include triangle in this haul is because I basically only wore triangle bikinis on our baby moon and I had so many questions on what I was wearing sizing wise and how they fit with the belly, which obviously like if I was comfortable in them on my baby moon, they fit great. This velvet material is so stretchy. It's their stretchiest material in my opinion out of the ones I've tried and I think they fit great. The bottoms are just, this is, these are the bottoms that come with the Maya bikini. Just a very simple cut. They offer a cheeky and a normal bottom. So that is customizable with the bottoms, which is really nice. I do get the cheeky cut, but they're super stretchy, which is why they still fit so well during pregnancy. And AKA I had no problem spending more money on them because they fit. I don't have to like go a size up for pregnancy, I can wear my current ones and I love them. The other, they do have a couple other styles. This is the Maya 2, I believe. So they have like all of these different velvet options. I have reviewed these in the past, like I said. So if you wanna see the other styles reviewed, I will link those other videos down below. But for pregnancy, highly recommend the velvet. These ones are the same bottoms, but the top is a little bit different. So they have a lot of different styles you can choose from. They have strapless. This is another material they offer. These are all in the same, or these three are all in the same Maya style, but these are still really stretchy, like the French Terry. I can still wear those right now, but the velvet is definitely just like super comfortable, super soft, and very stretchy. I'm a medium in everything and all the styles in triangle and they all still fit great. So those are my pre-pregnancy sizes. That is still what I'm wearing, which I love. That is all I have for you. Um, if you have any other brands you want me to try, comment down below. I don't know if I'll do another bikini haul this year. No matter what, I'll do another one next year. Maybe I'll review them on my Closet by Kel or my main Instagram, Kaylin Yeager. Hopefully you enjoyed this bikini haul with Kulani, Skatey, Triangle, and Airy. Once again, that like airy oversized pool cover up thing, love. Probably my favorite item out of all of this. I will have all of these listed and linked down below to hopefully answer some questions. But once again, I'm a medium across the board and everything and they all fit really well. But if you have any questions, check down there. I will try to link all of the ones I can. Once again, with the airy ones, I don't know if they still have all of those, but I'll try to link as much as I can. Um, so that's down there for reference and I'll see you guys in the next video.